Hey Dreamline, it's Doug Kirby Star here. In today's video, I'm going to be continuing my Let's Play of Kirby Star Allies. I'd rather not hesitate, so let's start the video. Alright, we're back at it again with the Soul Melter, the ultimate choice. Ah oh, shit, I just revealed the difficulty. But whatever, whatever. Uh, let's see who I want to pick. Uh, I think I'm gonna pick... Yeah, now that we have the Dream Friends unlocked, I wanna pick... Yeah, I'm gonna take Sword, then Bandana D, King DDD, Meta Knight. Boom. Demon Kirby! Yeah, I believe that's supposed to be from the Kirby anime. Where, in one episode where Kirby got possessed by a monster called the Demon Frog? Yeah, I believe so. Also, speaking of the Kirby anime, I. Uh, a few days ago, I I released this thing, this uh, entry for a, a reanimated version of the Kirby anime. Yeah, it's called the Kirby Right Back At You Reanimated Collab. It's gonna be, it's held by uh, being held by Gogon Studios, you know. Also known as the guy responsible for my new intro. Also, like, are you guys enjoying my new intro? Like, I genuinely want to know. Like, you guys like my new intro? Because I, I love it. I love it. So, yeah, shout out to Gogon Studios for, like, the third time. But anyway, speaking of the Kirby Right Back At You reanimated thing. Yeah, I released my entry a few days ago on YouTube. It was the uh, it was the scene from episode one where Kirby ate all the food at the dinner party at the mayor's house. I feel like I did a pretty good job. Yeah, like the, the movements of the ragdolls are so in sync. Like, don't tell me I'm gonna die now. <laughs> yeah, but but anyway, anyway, as I was about to say, yeah. Yeah, I think I did a pretty good job to it, Patty. Like, the audio is in sync with the movement of the ragdoll- Okay, now, as I was about to say before, I was rudely interrupted by Mr. Frosty. I was going to say that the, the, the audio from the episode and the ragdolls, the movement of the ragdolls were in sync with the- in the- my entry for the reanimated collab. Like, I have high hopes for Gogon Studios. In case you're wondering who the hell Gogon Studios is, he makes videos using this uh, animation software called, known as Source Filmmaker. A anyway, yeah, that was so much easier. Okay, off topic just a little bit. Uh, I think it, we went so much easier because I actually gave my friends the uh, elemental abilities, which I believe increased their attack. Alright, yeah. And also I decided to become a uh, ESP Kirby. Oh look, he's buff now. Anyway, yeah. So that's how my intro was made using a source filmmaker. And like, if you wanna, if you wanna join the reanimated collab, if you think you got the the guts for it, no one's stopping you. Uh, you can join the Discord server, which is linked in my. Re-entry collab description and pin comment. 
Hold on, I put a card up now to guide you to my video, just to, if you want to know about it more. Yeah, I think I'm all good. Yeah, I swear, I keep switching between subjects, and it's super difficult for me to tell what I want to say. I think I underestimated the ESP ability. Alright, twin adventure battle. Yeah, I feel like I should talk about, like, other stuff besides the game I'm playing more often. Like, if I want to take up streaming, might as well. Would you guys watch my streams? If I were to, like, do Twitch and shit? <laughs> Uh, where are you, Meta Knight? Okay. Because I'm not sure if I'd be very interesting to watch. Alright, yeah, see, look how fast we got him down to half health. And it's going to be even faster because there's going to be four Meta Knight clones. Watch this. Okay, I'm gonna go up here and, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna start camping from up here. Oh shoot, I'm already at low health again. I don't want to have to use another tomato this early. Okay, boom. Yeah, I should really be using the ESP power to my advantage. Okay, Goldon and Silvox. Yeah, they're they're hella easy. I should probably be in the middle. Alright, yeah. Let me just uh, revive Meta Knight really quick. And DDD's low on health too, so I think I'm gonna uh, get a tomato after this. Alright. Alright. Dodged. Alright, no, Bandana D. Come on, you can't be in Smash if you're gonna be dying like that. Alright, there we go. Silvox is down for the count. Alright, I'm gonna take this. Yeah, I have a pretty good feeling about this run. Now, yeah, we got, got the electric powers, so... Yeah, I'm not concerned. Boy, look at that go! in my electric ball.
Oh uh, yeah, they'll they'll take a lot of damage from the from the electric attacks hitting the rain. Oh uh, yeah, see, look. Yeah, I think I picked the right elemental for this. All right, six more. I was hoping to beat this on the first try, but I think I made the mistake of not giving my allies elemental power. Alright, look how quick- look how nimble I dodge. Alright, yeah, now, and now we get to stun Francisca with the... Uh... Yeah, see, we stun her. Now we bag and tag. A bit of teabagging and some uh, controller ASMR. Okay, controller ASMR over. Okay. I'm hoping to save one for like the final, final boss of this mode. Like, of the Soul Melter difficulty. Alright, let me just uh, take out all the fireballs. Okay. Oh yeah, that's her fire attack, although she did she only lived like five seconds to see it. Alright, Zan Partizan. You see I'm referring to them by their actual names now and not Ice Waifu, Flame Waifu, and Electric Waifu. Oh shit, I might wanna... Oh shoot, I'm gonna take a lot of damage! Alright, I'm all good, I'm all good, I'm all good. I got a little cocky there, was the problem. Alright, hurry. Okay, there. Before anyone's gotta take more damage. Let me get another one, now that we have all three of them for all three rounds left. Alright, it's Highness. Alright, I figured out a way to dodge the ice attack. You know, I don't know what I find funny, the ice attack is the hardest for me to dodge for highness, but the ice attack to avoid Termina, you know, the final boss, is the easiest one to dodge. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna just go into the corner. Ah, 
come on. Yeah, see, I'm dodging so nimbly up, and I got hit. Mungdal is down for the count. <laughs> Do I want it? I'll just take it anyway. Now let me while while Morpho Knight's going into his second phase, I'm just gonna quickly revive Banana D. Yeah, that's my new nickname for the that. Ah shit! You're gonna turn all my friends evil. With that attack. Ah, he got Bandana D. Wait, did I seriously try and throw a friend heart? Also, I just realized this battle and the final battle is the only time where you can throw a friend heart in the ultimate choice. If you try and press X, while doing that, it won't work. Alright, one more. I don't know I just realized, this little picture for Void Termina, it, it reminds me somewhat of uh, Baymax from Big Hero 6. to the final battle. Again, for like the fourth, I want to say, time? No, 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 third time. I think it was the, this the third time. If you notice, he's a different color now. Like, the story mode Void Termina is, uh, let's see, I want to say... How do I switch? How do I switch Alex? Alright, yeah, I'm gonna switch to King DDD because he'll do more damage. But anyway, as I was saying, the story mode Void Termina was like a super dark blue. This one's like a cyan color. I'm gonna try my best not to take damage in this first phase, because it's super easy not to take damage in the first phase, because he attacks so slow. Alright, now I'm gonna try and go onto his back, because that's where the next spot's gonna be. Oh, 
Thursday, gotta go the other side. And he chose the ice again. I was hoping he'd go for the electricity so then I could you you could see all of the elementals in action. Maybe next time. That's a bit of foreshadowing. Wink wink. Ah, I got hit by the X attack. I tried going through it like I always do. Alright, we gotta beat up Void Termina's organs again, so I'm gonna just do that. Alright, that was quick. But then again, Boy Termina's heart doesn't have a lot of health. Okay. Alright, time for him to turn into a bird and start sounding like a Minecraft ghast. Again. Right there, just shoot a whole lot at him. Some damage to it. I think. Yeah, he shoots down the spears a lot faster now in this fate in this uh, form of him. Now it's the one on his back. Wait, oh shoot, I didn't realize I ran out of space. Yeah, I think in this form, he, yeah, sm strikes down the axe twice. Now he just has a little bit of health left. I just realized this eye has a, lot, a bit more health than some of the other eyes. And also, I think this formation is new. Where you have to like dodge the lasers, like it's some sort of bullet hell. And there's more, it's a big, huge laser. Oh shoot. Yeah, that's just about as hard to dodge as the 
attack in Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga was final boss, where the final boss swings her arms around. Alright, now we have White Void Termina! Essence of Chaos, Void Soul. Also, shit, I think there was a different pause screen description for the- I keep reading- forgetting to read the pause screen descriptions for these final boss, but anyway, I can just read this one. No telling if it's true, but according to the ancient scrolls, Void Termina may rise again in other forms depending on whether, whether positive or negative energy is gathered. It seems this being of darkness will wander the galaxy until one day he is reborn into a new existence. When he returns, hopefully it will be as a friend. Ah, he's gonna turn all my friends evil and rock. Come on, why are you all turning evil? Yeah, luckily this attack doesn't turn us evil. I just realized this is probably based off Miracle Matters Miracle Matters Needle Attack from Kirby 64. Just realize you can hit him with the bubbles. Yeah, we gotta get out of the way of Void, and we can't be in the water either, because he'll electrify the water. Yeah, see, you can hit him with Void with the bubbles. Imagine killing the... basically, like, the god of darkness. Like, I'm pretty sure Void Termin is, like, some sort of god. Like, imagine, like, if he's on a sliver of health and you end up killing him by, with, by just blowing bubbles at him. Like, it's fucking one of the... Like, it's fucking Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom. Yeah, those black hole things are a health reaper, so... Also, wait, no, hold on. Okay, ah, no, 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 we're so close, we're so close. No, 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 don't, don't, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Alright, I think you have to be, like, right in the middle of Void. Luckily, you can touch Void, or else that would be impossible. Okay, good. Cause that gave me a heart attack. I, I was on a sliver of health. If you guys thought that's hard, wait till I plan on what to do next <laughs> with this ultimate choice thing. Yeah, if you thought that was difficult, yeah, I, I don't want to tell you what I plan to do for the next episode. Good job, champions of another dimension. Select Soul Melter difficulty and enter these commands, if you dare. I believe that's a little easter egg, like, because, like, to do extra mode in the first Kirby game, Kirby's Dream Land, you gotta press up, A, and minus. Yeah, in case you want, yeah. I plan to do that next difficulty, the Soul Melter EX. Yeah, that's called Soul Melter EX. Yeah, watch how I plan to do that one. Stay tuned. Alright, I think that's going to wrap it up. Now, as Kirby said near the beginning of the video, if you want to help out my channel, simply subscribe and turn on the notification so you can join the lookout for new videos and play. Also consider joining my social media like my Twitter, my subreddit, and my Twitch. I guess there's only one thing left to say now. <sighs> Bye!